With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, it is given that the angular speed of a motor wheel is increased from 1200 rpm to 3120 rpm in 16 seconds. So we will calculate here the angular acceleration of the motor wheel. So firstly, it is mentioned in the question that angular speed is increased from 1200 to 3120. It means 1200 is the initial angular speed and 3120 is the final angular speed. So we can write here that we can represent initial with the omega naught arrow or omega one. It's your choice whatever you want to use so I will use here that there is a omega naught for the initial angular speed so omega naught it is a given that there is a 1200 rpm and there is a final which is represented by omega that is 3120 rpm and time is a given that is a 16 second t is equals to 16 seconds so now we want to find out the angular acceleration so if we want to find the angular acceleration so this is a circular motion actually so we will use this first equation of a motion which is a v is equals to u plus 80 this is a line in a linear motion if we want to write in an angular motion or circular motion that will be omega is equals to omega naught plus alpha t so now alpha is our angular acceleration so we can write here use the value different values here to find the value of alpha so omega is 3120 and this is 1200 plus alpha and this is a 16 so alpha will be equals to 3120 minus 1200 divided by 16 so this will be equals to how much so we can use here we can subtract firstly 3120 and there is minus 1200 so this will be equals to how much but here in this question you can see time is in second and this speeds are in minute so here we have to add up one factor like I will multiply this with a 2 pi divide by 60 because I want to convert this into second because this is a revolution per minute we want to convert to radian per second so that's why I just add this factor so now here I know when I divide subtract this one then I got an answer that is 1920 into 2 pi divided by 16 into 60 this 0 will be cancelled with this 0 and uh, now I will divide firstly 192 times 2 this will be 384 div pi divided by 16 into 6 this will be 96 so now I will cancel out these terms so now I know this will be equals to how much that is equals to 64 divided by 16 pi how I am able to find out this answer because when I divide this with a 6 and this with a 6 then I am able to get this answer so this is the value of angular acceleration so we can further 16 times 4 is 64 so this will be a 4 pi radian per second so now according to this explanation which option is correct 8 4 pi radian per second square our answer is in per second square because this is acceleration here we can write the minus 2 this is in our op which option that is in our option B so we can write the final answer that our option B is a correct option so this is the answer of this question I hope you understood the explanation of this question thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today